So coach, how has this uh, off season been for you and how have you guys been preparing so far? It's been um, it's been a good off season. I, I spent part of my summer with the USA U21 team and um, but that was a little bit earlier in the summer, the, the way the, the tournament fell than other years. And so I feel like we've had a, you know, a good amount of time to prepare and um, decided to get started. Coach, you talked in the spring about uh, having a smaller, a smaller team in the spring. How does it feel to have your whole squad here? Yeah, we went from, you know, having limited reps, you know, limited numbers, and now we have, we're deep in every position. So, so um, yeah, it's nice to have some bodies. What can you say about the transfers that have come in so far and um, how are they going to be important for the season going forward? Well, I think the transfers and the freshmen, you know, are all ready to go. And I've said it before, but this is for sure the deepest team we've ever had. And so it's going to be fun to see um, how preseason goes for playing time. What do you look forward to this season? Um, well, I, I really am looking forward to um, – you know, probably the most thing I'm most excited about is just the competition in our gym. And I, I, this is one of those years where I have an idea of how it's going to go, but I really couldn't tell you who our, what our starting line is going to look like. And I think they're going to have to show it. It's a good problem to have. Though, it's a good that. problem to have, yeah. Coach, you built a pretty challenging um, non-conference schedule. Was that intentional? For sure. We Well, the, the main priority, well, there's three main priorities. One is getting in the NC2A tournament, but we feel we have a team that can host like we have the last few years, so we want to be in that top 16 and ideally a top four so we can host the, you know, the first two weekends. Speaking of that, you, you're coming off of two straight appearances to the final four. What are some of those takeaways you've got from those experiences that you're able to apply to this upcoming season? Well, the, the, there's two. One is I, I think I'm better at preparing the team. I know what to expect more. My staff and I have, have done it. And I also think we have a lot of returners that have that have been there in some two, three years in a row, if you count the, the Elite Eight. So I think um, there is a learning curve that comes with learning how to manage the emotions, you know, the media, the the way that just kind of flow of the day. Um, and so I, I think we're, you know, definitely better off than we were a couple years ago. Former assistant coach uh, Lindsey Bahanek went to Oregon State to become head coach. You promoted Kellen Patron and Kamani Akeo and Fisher and, and in terms of your staff, how do you like your staff so far and how important have they been? Well, I, you know, Kellen and Kama have been with me, um, you know, for 10 and nine years if you count Kama as a player. And so I think there's a lot of familiarity. It feels like we're a staff that's been together a long time. And then we also, uh, you know, with the, the change in the rules this year, we no longer have a volunteer. We have a, a third assistant. So we've been able to bring on Alicia, and, and so it's it's great to have an experienced professional staff. You brought in Chia. Chia's coming back this season after she initially, originally intended to graduate. Um, uh -huh. What was the conversation like with her coming back, and was it you enticing her to come back, or did she want to come back herself? Was well, a bit, a bit of both. I think a bit of both. Um, you know, we, we never closed the door. We never we always wanted her back, and um, and so you know, and, and I knew that she was her first priority was was preparing for law school and and so as the semester went on before the you know the the final transfer portal window was about to open about two weeks before I reached back out and said hey are, if you're thinking about it let's meet and, and talk about it before the you know we give away the last scholarship and, um, and so and so she uh, has had some time away and was ready to come back and, and we're, we're, we're grateful to have her back. Coach how do you build off of the success that your program has built? that your program has while also you know taking it day by day pacing yourself because you guys do have a legacy that you're trying to live up to but also brand new team. Yeah I, I think you know it's naive to always think every year is going to be better and so I think the way you know, we certainly have a team to win a national championship and that obviously is the goal but really the goal is to feel like we didn't leave anything on the table that we're, we're maximizing the talent we have in this group and so so that's so really, it is just about what you said, is, is how can we have the best practice every day? You have two um, All-Americans on your squad and, and some even more uh, recognized players. How do you think those vet, that veteran presence is going to help you this season? You, it's uh, not only, I mean, it, it always helps to have experience. Like we talked about with the Final Four, girls that have been there, that have been battle-tested, but, you know, you know, 
three of our incoming freshmen have experience with the national team and have played in big time international competition. So I, I think they also are coming in, you know, maybe not in the college game, but feeling like they're, they're experienced as well. And so I think, uh, I, I think it's what we talked about earlier. It's um, everything a coach could ask for, a, lot, a, a deep team. Olivia Babcock is one freshman that I've been interested in. She's your only right-sided hitter on your squad. Do you intend her to start in that position, or do you assume that some other players will sort of fill that role throughout the season? Well, we are looking at her on the right and the left. She um, She's a strong right side hitter, but she also passed for her high school and club team, and she's a pretty good passer. So probably looking at her first on the right side, but trying not to overlook her on the left. Uh, okay. There you can go. I was going to say, on your schedule is playing at the Peterson Event Center again. Why is that game so important to you guys? Um, just because it is something that not only you guys have been doing a while, but you've seen more and more teams across the country doing playing in bigger arenas. We, we have two regular season games there, and those are important um, because we have a chance to, to pack more in than we do in the field house. Um, and then also, you know, it, if and when we host the NC2A tournament, it's, it's preparation for, for those games as well. Conference realignment really seems to be affecting sports as a whole. I mean, we see the Pac-12, a, a known volleyball conference, is having its te teams go all over the country. I mean, what do you make of it, and what do you think it means for the sport of volleyball? Well, you, yesterday was certainly a, an interesting day. I, uh, you know, I'm, I follow it. I, I try not to get too wrapped up in stuff that's way out of my control. But yeah, I guess we'll see about Cal and Stanford today, or <laughs> whatever happens. But. Um, ACC is a great league, and we have some great rivalries, so hopefully we stay in town. Coach Bree Kelly was a late addition to your team daughter in the summer. Uh, what was it about her that really drew you to her? Um, well, I, I, you know, I have some experience coaching her, and um, both of those summers have been very positive, and she's, um, she's a great competitor. She physically has what it takes, and, and so I... I think um, I know she wants to be great, and I know she has the ability to do it. And so we're just very, very blessed to have her. Juliana Dalton was injured injured towards the end of last season. How has she been recovering? I see she's on the court right now. How has she been doing so far? In this yeah, season? it's been going well. You know, we've tried to bring her back slowly so that you know, so she can handle the load of preseason, and um, and so we're on a good path. And um, it certainly is nice to have her out there and on the sidelines, so in, in a good place. Cat Flood mainly served as your serve specialist this last season. Do you see her serving more of an outside hitter role, or do you think she'll do more of the same as she did She had a huge uh, spring season and, and definitely in the spring established that she's in the mix. And so I'll, I, as I, we'll find out in the next couple of weeks where, where she is in that depth chart. But we know that she can play as a, she's a solid option in either spot. How does a uh, Virginia Tech transfer uh, Logan Mosley sort of fit in with your squad? I mean, is she going to be a leader? Or is she going to be starting? What do you think you see out? Yeah, of we we brought her in. It no question to compete with Emmy Klicka. Emmy had a good summer and a good off season, and so that's another position where we decided to see how it goes in preseason. You were picked to finish uh, second in the ACC. I mean, obviously the UMU will be going at it again. How excited are you to be able to take on such a great opponent this season? Yeah, the, the last few years, the rivalry has really been, I think, beneficial for both of us. We've kind of been um, always want, wanting to be better than the other team, and it's it's turned out that that was a, a pretty good standard nationally. Thanks so much, Coach. Yeah.